What if a tiny bottle of shampoo could take down an entire plane? After 2006 air travel changed forever. Authorities discovered that liquid explosives could be disguised as everyday items like water bottles or gel deodorants. Why is this a big deal? Because liquids can be mixed mid-flight to create explosives like TTP triacetone triperoxide. It's a highly unstable compound. Even small amounts, when combined, can cause deadly pressure waves. Airplanes fly at high altitude, where cabin pressure is controlled and stable. But even a small explosion can rupture the fuselage or damage critical systems. That's why aviation security limits all liquids, gels, and aerosols in carry-on bags. Now why 100 milliliters? Because it minimizes the amount of any one chemical on board. And why all items must fit in a 1-liter Ziploc? It makes manual inspection faster, and X-ray scanning more effective. Liquids look ambiguous under X-ray, so packing them in a clear sealed bag helps security spot risks quickly. This rule isn't random. It's based on a scientific risk model. Chemical volatility. Required quantities for reactions. Blast pressure tolerance of aircraft. The International Air Transport Association IATA and ICO both back these guidelines. So yes, that Ziploc bag? It's not just plastic. It's a scientifically calibrated security barrier. Next time you pack that tiny bottle, know that science is watching. And it's keeping your flight safe.